Well, like it or love it, we are well and truly into summer mode. Thanks for clicking on to the Monday edition of Logan's European Outlook. These were the highs yesterday. We did reach another 32 Celsius yesterday afternoon. Don't think we're going to quite match that today, but we will certainly get close to that. And indeed, we have seen two back-to-back 90-degree -back Fahrenheit days in the British Isles. You have to go back to 1996, the last time we've seen that especially for the early portion of June. But this was the temperatures yesterday afternoon. We had the only low 20s across the far north. As the daytime heating got going, we've seen some pretty lively thunderstorms develop in that inst unstable air. Of course, once you get that buildup of heat at the surface, then force the air to rise. And we got, of course, the big tar and cumulonimbus clouds, the kind of classic in unstable summary pattern um, at this time of the year. So mid-20s in the western side of Northern Ireland, as well as the Irish Republic. Um, the hottest conditions, as was the case on Saturday, down across the region, really, from about London up into uh, parts of Nottinghamshire and the South Midlands, where temperatures reached the upper 20s to low 30s. Um, we also had some very hot conditions on the near continent as well. As this was the temperature over the Benelux region, so uh, Belgium and the Netherlands. Uh, a temperature, I think, of 33 degrees in some places. Actually, 34 degrees, believe it or not, in, um, in this location in Belgium. So some very hot conditions here. Potentially record-breaking for this early in the summer season here. And these are the current temperatures over the same region this afternoon as of recording 20 past three in the afternoon uk time i believe 20 past four um on the near continent i think they are on our head if i'm right in saying so can correct me if i'm wrong uh but we still have uh, temperatures 30 31 degrees over the uh, netherlands and belgium into the north of france also Current temperatures over the British Isles as of recording here will cool things down quite dramatically ac across the north. Uh, some pretty lively thunderstorms on go at the moment. We'll have a look at the lightning uh, and radar in just a second here. But the uh, low 20s temperatures coming down here thanks to outflow boundaries, that release of cooler air from aloft down to the surface. And then as it hits the surface, we see the temperatures cooling um, in the surrounding vicinity of the showers of thunderstorms. Ongoing rumbles here at the moment here at um, Mark Logan HQ. Uh, but further south, very warm day, uh, actually upwards of 29 Celsius at Estelle Muir and Dumfries and Galloway, 27 at both uh, Glasgow Airport and Bishopton. We do have low 20s over Northern Ireland at the moment here, as well as the Republic. And again, temperatures um, uh, close to 30 Celsius in a few spots down across the Midlands here. You notice here that the focus of warmest temperatures have kind of lifted up towards the Midlands, Greater Manchester area this afternoon. There's actually a 30 at Keswick in Cumbria as a recording. So, like I said, very lively skies in parts of the UK uh, through the course of this afternoon, as we've had for, you know, the last few days here. Unstable atmosphere, plenty of heat and humidity at the surface here, bubbling in the atmosphere. And you can see here this animation loop of weather online see here these storms developing uh, to the east and west northwest of london parts of south wales mid wales has been seeing some fairly lively thunderstorms as you can see here even parts to the south of glasgow over renfrewshire has been seeing some fairly interesting lightning displays look at this here over the cairngorms of course you've got those enhanced uh, lift uh, over the highest elevations of scotland here north highland seeing lightning also and you can see here, this is the radar. This is actually off weather on, on underground. And you can see here parts of uh, of Sutherland, Ross and Cromarty, down in the Inverness area, over Murray, western portions of Aberdeenshire. We're seeing some fairly lively showers and storms at the moment. And we've also got those storms just in the south of Glasgow, parts of Dumfries and Galloway, Northern Ireland, is seeing some rain uh, and some thunderstorms Donegal uh, so fairly lively afternoon once again where of course you've got that strong daytime heating parts of uh, you know coastal Wales near Aberystwyth South Wales 
and indeed areas to the north and southeast of London is seeing some fairly lively weather at the moment. Interesting one, by the way, the Bulik Naba, which is, um, if anybody's familiar, uh, you know, just on the outskirts of Torridon, West Highland, Scotland, uh, record 22.9 Celsius was achieved. I believe it was on Saturday afternoon. But this particular site is 2,500 feet above sea level. So it broke the record. I believe it was set back in 2016. But we managed to break that record uh, or a couple of days ago at this a high elevation site uh, on the west coast of Scotland. So very impressive um, temperatures in some places. I think Scotland has even seen temperatures close to the 30 Celsius mark over the last couple of days here. And we may even get close to that this afternoon in the sunshine away from any outflow boundaries from um, nearby showers and thunderstorms. This is the, um, you know, the question is, are we going to continue to see this pattern through the course of this upcoming work week and it looks as if yes that will be the case now my forecast for the month of june did have high pressure to the north low pressure to the south and we will always have a little bit of a threat with this negative here to the southwest of the uk trying to push north northeast don't know if you can hear that but Quite a lot of uh, rumbles of thunder here. We are kind of getting a little bit of rain at the moment, but nothing particularly dramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if we get some heavy rain a wee bit later on. But this is the upcoming five days off the GFS Ensemble. Uh, strong high in the means to the north of the British Isles here. Negatives over central portions of Europe, also to the southwest of the UK and Ireland also. As we play through this animation, you can see here that certainly the ensemble of the GFS has that negative approaching from the southwest and therefore we have to assume that that is going to kick up some energy, enhance the instability over the UK and Ireland and increase in the shower and thunderstorm risk through the second half of this month. But notice here that the GFS ensemble then rebuilds that area of high pressure over the British Isles from the near continent and it generally keeps things certainly according to this that would certainly keep things reasonably settled reasonably warm compared to average and indeed slightly dry compared to average but we do have that thunderstorm risk from the south and the southwest upcoming seven days here off the the ensemble you can see here that we do have areas of weather than average western scotland wales western portions of england due to that presence of low pressure always to the southwest of the UK, bringing the risk of showers and storms. We've still got that wet and average across parts of the southwest, southeastern portions of the continent as well. Notice here, as we press through the animation, this takes us into the period 21st through the 20th of June. We do have a kind of 50-50 in terms of drier versus wet and average. Looking at the ECM, let's have a look at the two-minute temperature anomaly, sorry. Let's go back to the current upcoming five-day period. Very warm compared to average. In fact, the warmest compared to average is over Scotland, thanks to the nearest, we're closest to that area of high pressure versus uh, areas further south. But widespread warmer than average uh, through the next five days. The six to 10 day still warmer than average and even the 11 to 15 day warmer than average here. So this will be definitely a warmer than average June for the UK and indeed for Ireland here. Looking at the ECMWF, this is precipitation anomaly, wet than average upcoming seven days, as you can see here, um, across the south, drier than average further north underneath that area of high pressure. And it looks as if it stays drier than average right the way into the uh, second half of June. But then you notice here that the ECM has a little bit wetter than average showing up over Ireland, Northern Ireland, and the uh, England, Scotland, and Wales here as we progress into the month of July. And the big test is going to be, do we start to see heights coming down as we progress through the month of July? And if so, that would go with my summer forecast. If not, it would start to go against the ideas that I have for the summer season. Certainly what would go against it is this is a tweet here by Shrian Bruin showing the ECMWF for the month of July. High pressure to the north, 
lower pressure to the south, similar to what we've got now. And then for the month of August, the ECM has that high over Scandinavia. This would certainly open the door to something a little bit more in the way of lower heights, more in the way of showers, thunderstorms and whatnot, uh, threatening during the month of August, which is quite interesting. And that negative here over the Gulf of Mexico, southwest Atlantic, would indicate possible attacks of tropical systems in the North America here. So it's all to play for, very uh, above average heights across the uh, uh, parts of uh, you know Australia, Indonesia, Southeast Asia, that would indicate drier and warmer than average conditions down here, and certainly is not a good look for the monsoon season down over this region of the world as well. So, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens. Certainly, plenty of lively showers and thunderstorms in the mix at the moment here. We should start to see a little bit of a less blow up of shower and thunderstorms in a widespread area as we progress through the course of this week we should start to see the humidity level coming down a little bit more therefore we should start to cap the atmosphere just that little bit more in response to that here so i hope you're staying cool do you enjoy the heat do you love the, uh, the you know warm sunny weather or do you loathe it let me know in the comments section below i do want to say a big big thank you to everybody the subscriptions continue to rise the views are holding at mid level mid mid winter level um you know one and a half to two and a half thousand views per video in a 24-hour period i'm absolutely delighted by that so thank you very much for your support of this what typically is a, a fairly quiet time of the year here on the channel but not so much at the moment i want to encourage you to keep it right here in my channel do check out uh, yesterday's global weather and climate report. Plenty of stuff uh, to watch uh, on a Sunday afternoon with regards to what's happening around the world. A lot of extremes taking place at the moment. And I endeavour each and every... Can you hear that? Wow. Don't you just love... Hell, maybe you hate it. I love the sound of thunder. I love the flashes of the lightning. It's an amazing time of the year, actually, when you get a decent thunderstorm. You don't actually get that um, much in the way of thunderstorm activity up here in Scotland. Typically, you get it further south, but uh, we're getting some interesting thunder and lightning at the moment. Heavy rainfall. Do do stay safe if you're under those um, those thunderstorms, because of course they can be uh, a deadly um situation if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time don't find yourself over a golf course and a thunderstorm of course not the best place to be but yeah back to the point um i do uh, strive to provide you with um you know an you know an outlook in terms of what is happening elsewhere around the world there are so many things to cover and i certainly try my best to keep it uh, as cover as much as I possibly can here on the channel. I think I waffled on long enough, so I'm going to cut now. Thanks very much for your support, and I will hopefully go back again tomorrow with more. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Bye for now.